thank you, my dear listener, for having tuned in to 101.9 High FM to listen to Sunset Serenade, the three-hour journey of deconstructing jazz music. My name is Saul Mulubi. Let me thank you for having tuned at five and walking this journey with me up to so far. And I do believe that you are not going to regret it because with me in the studio right now is It's Kwena. Yes, that's her stage name, but her real name is Kwena Mokukung. Welcome, Kwena. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Okay, I, I'm so excited and I guess even my listeners can can hear it in my voice, especially that I just started by welcoming you with a laughter. <laughs> but you do know in Setswana, um, which is my mother tongue, uh, we say um, the person's sociability is realized through her laughter. And sometimes they even say dimples because dimples will then represent someone who is forever smiling. And I remember when I was young, uh, I will come to my house to introduce my new girlfriend to my mom. And she used to say, okay, um, she, she has dimples. It means she's, she's a very good person. And that for me told me that Actually, she meant she wasn't that beautiful, but uh, because she was sociable and likable, so it's okay she could uh, accept it. I'm saying this anecdote simply because Sunset Serenade is all about love, and we are celebrating love. And this evening, we are paying tribute to Kipimwe Keitsi and Pet Machikiza, our veteran musicians. But it's not about them right now. This is your time. Tell our listeners who It's Gwena is. Um, it's Gwena is a creator from Pretoria, uh, South Africa. And I really find myself being a, an experimenter of the arts um, and the creative space. I, I you know, go from playing music to painting to writing to various art forms that I feel would best express my feelings, my thoughts at that point in time. Um, so in summary, I'd say Gwen is a creator. Um, and yeah. <laughs> yes, um, I've read your bio on your website. I realized that um, you are an accountant and this shook me a bit because I was saying um, accountants, the numbers people, usually are not as sociable and lively as you are. And perhaps I must also say, I, I like accountants because usually they buy artworks on behalf of corporates. So they see art as an investment, but I never imagined an accountant singing and composing music and being in fashion, you know, like you are. So tell us about that transition. So currently I am living in both worlds, uh, both the finance accounting business and also the creative uh, side of things. I, I find that both sides bring different kinds of stimulation to me. Um, the creative space allows me to be free, to express myself the way I feel I need to. And the finance space, you know, it really challenges me in other ways, you know, thinking logically, solving problems. <laughs> and um, I find both very, both very interesting. Um, and in some way or shape or form, they've found a way to, I guess, cross, cross paths with me or come into alignment with me. Um, but yeah, they both equally work to my benefit in the music business space because it is a business as well. So that has helped me greatly to have discipline, to be you know, committed, to finish the projects that I start. Um, so they complement each other is what I'm trying to say. And 
um, I love them both. In fact, I imagine a chartered accountant, you are also auditing their creative <laughs> process. <laughs> are you able to, to come up with a final <laughs> product uh, on time, meeting your deadline, if you have to go and audit the entire process and document <laughs> it? <laughs> That's very funny. Um, I have this sort of quote that I've just written for myself and and I guess it speaks to I guess the challenges that I've had before um, around being a perfectionist you know or wanting things to be exactly right and I think that comes from the finance side and that discipline but when it comes to the creative space I always say to myself um, the outcome may not be perfect but it will be beautiful and so that's the intention when I'm creating art and when I'm sort of you know, relaying a message or an experience that I've been through. I mean, in life, we'll always have challenges and, you know, things that may set us back. But I think it is up to us to find the beauty in that. And so art has sort of helped me create that beauty from those challenges. And I've been able to find a space that I can be myself. And that in itself um, is liberating. So when I'm creating work, I don't aim for perfection. So I'm, I'm not auditing myself. <laughs> I am just creating a beautiful piece that will either inspire somebody, uh, take someone, you know, on a journey of reflection and healing, or whichever, you know, experience, maybe they're in the con, they're just enjoying the music and having a good time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really how I, <laughs> I take it on. <laughs> So it's very different. <laughs> no, as a music fan and a, a music consumer, uh, I would say that um, I give this chartered accountant an unqualified audit in terms of <laughs> the quality of their output, your creative output. Uh, it's <laughs> out of this world. And for me, I'm very excited because you represent that, that emerging generation uh, which is going to replace our veteran musicians, you know, Bo Mira Mageba, Bo Dorothy Masuka, Bo, Bo Dolira Teve. And, and for me, it also says to me that it means jazz, jazz will always be alive because we have musicians like you, you know, are continuing with the le legacy of our forebears. Let's talk about your lyrics. What inspires them? Um, my lyrics are inspired one by my personal experiences, my observation of other people, and also my aim to, I guess, what's the word? Um, you know, with, with regards to me writing Gasebedi or Sizulu or, you know, the English language is there, but I want to sort of preserve, that's the right word, preserve um, our our native languages in some form that I I can. That is my, I, I feel like that's my contribution to the world. And then the other inspirations, like I've said, it's it's personal experiences, it's, it's my observation of the world and my viewpoint as a young African um, and how I'm seeing and living in this moment in time. So I, I try to aim to capture um, the times that we're living in through my lens or my perspective. Yeah, my, my listeners will tell you that I'm a student of, of um, the dialectics of culture, where I say we, 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 we don't celebrate our roots or where we come from, but we also celebrate what we have become. And in, in, in your case, um, celebrating the contemporary basically means you are also celebrating the dynamism of our culture. Uh, because it isn't frozen in the 19th or 20th century. It is forever evolving uh, as, a, as a dynamic um, um, participant. So I, I, I love that because also your music itself, it's also enriching our South African or African uh, jazz idiom Be, because um, you don't just sound like our four bears but you have brought so much improvement into the, the jazz rhythm, you know, um, and, and you have given it that contemporary touch. 
Let's talk about your two most favorite songs, even though I know that you love all your songs. And yes, indeed, I love all your songs, but I think there should be two that stand out. And why those two? So um, I'd say Maru, which is track four on the album, and the last track, which is Gifile. Um, Maru specifically speaks to, I guess, me observing the current state of the world, the current state of South Africa, the continent. And I guess in certain aspects, I was just maybe reflecting on the great um, struggles that we still have today. And it, in, in that moment, it still brought me so much pain because um, one, I believe that we have the, one of the best countries in the world. And so to see that the, this, this country with so much potential is not managed as well as, as it should be. And there's so many young people who have talents and gifts and so much to give, but they're not given the opportunities to really, I guess, you know, um, you know, nourish those talents and work on those gifts, you know, and, and it's, 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 most of it is purely by, I guess, what I perceive to be um, selfish, selfishness or greed, you know, people pushing their own personal agendas. And I guess I took a moment to say, you know, looking at everything now in the state of the country and where we are, I said, you know, this brings me so much sadness. Um, but at the end of it, I speak to say, even when there's rain, there's a lesson that we can learn, you know, even when there's rain, there's the rain, the rains come with blessing. And so let me try find the beauty in this experience and make the most of it. And so with Gifilwe, I talk about the gifts that we've all been blessed with. Um, Gifilwe means I have been given. And what I simply say is that we've been gifted with, we've all been gifted in different ways and I took a moment to one, acknowledge my gifts, but also see the gifting in others. That one that they have blessed me with in, in my life, and I in turn to use my gift to bless others. And so that's the message, really, um, that we are all gifted and blessed. And God has given us these gifts, and we should be using our gifts to, I guess, make the world um, better, even if it's just a small square meter where you're staying, whether it's sharing your talents, you know, starting a business or however you feel would best improve your environment if you can, you know, so yeah. I'm so glad that you have chosen the two songs because as we are talking, Kifile is playing in the background, which means then that at the end of this interview, I will be playing Mar. And by the way, uh, I will see Letambulu and Kifa Semenya speak about Maru is, is the sign of happiness, Maru Apula. And Bessie Head, one of my favorite authors, uh, wrote her seminal novel, uh, Maru, uh, which at one stage was a prescribed book for, for metric. And even though she talks about the thunderstorms um, just before the rainfall, but we do know that um, it, that uh, represents a new beginning, a new season, and to a large extent, it represents wealth and abundance. Now, in, in short, just give a message to our listeners, and perhaps by describing yourself to our listeners. Can you please repeat that? I'm describing? Saying, um, just give a short message to our listeners and whilst you do that, also describe yourself to say, this is it's great. Now I'm so and so, so and so. I love one, two, three. And my message to you, my dear listener, is one, two, three. 
Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, my name is It's Um, I am a creative entrepreneur and, and recording artist. I My message to your listeners is that do the best that you can where you are and that even though things may not look like what they should be at this point in time, use this opportunity to build on to what are the things that you want to have in life. And I, I guess this is a message to everybody, really. It's not just to young people, but those who are also young at heart, who are still striving for their goals and dreams and hope to see a better future. Thank you very much. And how do our listeners um, get hold of you? Any social uh, media handles? You're welcome to um, contact me or check out more of my music and other creative projects on www.itsgwena.com or at It's Gwena on all my social media platforms. That's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. In fact, my dear listener, I've visited one of her platforms and I was impressed that um, she had written It's Gwena in lowercase. And this reminded me of the English poet E.E. E. Cummings, who represented uh, humility during the era when poets were pompous. Uh, if you look at the, the history of English literature, especially during the Romanticism era. So I just love that because we do know that um, celebrated uh, artists are always pompous, are not very humble. And here's one who has all the qualities to behave the way others who don't deserve to behave that way, to be, the, the, uh, to be uh, behaving like, like her. She is an accomplished uh, chartered accountant. She is an accomplished musician. Her lyrics are out of this world, very soul soothing. And her looks, my dear listener, are Hollywood material. Uh, <laughs> thank you for having joined us. And my dear listen, I'm going to leave you on a very high note with a piece titled Maru. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.